Welcome. As a current fish mapping subscriber, you have access to our fish mapping app at no additional cost. This online service allows anglers to view all of the fish mapping features from their tablet or phone prior to going to the boat to assist in planning fishing trips in advance. The app works on both Android devices, such as the Samsung Galaxy, and iOS devices, such as the iPad or iPhone. If you are a current fish mapping subscriber, please visit the Google Play Store or App Store to download the fish mapping app. When you open the fish mapping app for the first time, you will be required to create a new username and password. Any current username and password you may be using for SiriusXM entertainment or billing purposes will not be accepted. At the bottom of the screen is a link to sign up for your access. Click the link to open the page to sign up and enter your information. Note, you will need the radio ID associated with your fish mapping subscription to validate the access to the fish mapping app. Once you have completed the registration information and selected sign up, you will receive an email from SiriusXM to verify the registration and update your password. Be sure to check your email spam folder if you do not receive the email promptly. Once completed, you can then log into the app with your username and password. Once you have the app installed, you will see this screen when opening the app. Next, you will be prompted to select GPS position information. Certain features in the app will not work if GPS position is not allowed. However, using the internal GPS on your device will increase your device's battery discharge rate. You should consider using external power if you plan on keeping the fish mapping app open for extended periods with the GPS function enabled. Each time the app is open, it will display the chart based on the regional information completed at login, or if GPS information is available, it will center on your position. The app will then automatically download all fish mapping data for the current date. Upon completion of the download, you will see the chart for either East Coast or West Coast, and there will be nine fish mapping icons at the bottom of the screen. When any icon is selected, the feature name will appear, and the blue band around the icon will indicate the feature has been selected, and any data for this feature will display on screen. The first icon on the left represents fishing recommendations. When selected, this displays locations where conditions are ideal for each selected species, and a colored shape will appear that corresponds with any species selected in your settings. A legend will be shown on screen, identifying the species each color represents. You can also tap on a color to see more information about the recommendation. Fishing recommendations update on Tuesday and Friday mornings. The next three icons show three temperature features. Sea temperature front strength, sea temperature contours, and 30 meter subsurface temperature contours. This information updates daily. The next two icons display plankton features plankton front strength, and plankton contours, which also update daily. The next icon shows sea surface height anomalies, otherwise known as upwellings and downwellings. This feature also has an additional layer that can be added called convergence zones. These yellow squares will denote where areas of convergence are occurring, which are indicative of accumulating bait fish. Convergence zones are only available on the app at this time, not on your boat's MFD. As with temperature and plankton layers, convergence information updates daily. The next icon displays weed lines. Note, weed lines are only shown for the east and gulf coasts and only beyond 20 nautical miles from shore in most areas. The satellite that captures this data only passes once a day and can be impeded by cloud cover. Therefore, 
it's not uncommon to see the weed information disappear one day and return the next. The last icon shows ocean currents. This feature is only available on the fish mapping app. It cannot be displayed on your boat multifunction display at this time. With this layer selected, the direction of ocean currents is displayed daily. The speed of the currents is reflected by arrows of various size. The stronger the current, the larger the arrow. As you zoom in, note the resolution improves to show better detail. Not only can ocean currents physically concentrate fish throughout their movement, but they will also bring nutrients and food. Typically, if you search in the centers of eddies and in areas of convergence where two different currents come together to form one, you will find more fish activity. There are also two tab functions when viewing the chart. First, you can hold your finger on screen at a specific location and a pop-up window will display the position, bearing and distance to that location based on the device's internal GPS. Second, you can quick tap on a fish mapping feature shown at a location. And in addition to the position, you will see the actual feature and the age of the feature selected. Now let's go to the top of the page. There are icons at the top. The first is a measuring tool. When selected, you have the option to measure from current position or measure from point to point. To measure from current position, long tap on screen and the range and bearing from your position will be shown. When point to point is selected, long tap once and a starting point will be shown. Long tap a second time and the distance and bearing between the two points will be displayed. Press cancel to return to the regular chart screen. The boat icon to the right of the measuring icon at the top of the page opens a routing tool. When selected, you have the option to create, view, export, and delete any previous routes. To begin creating a route, first select Create Route. Tap the Route Name field, and with the keyboard, enter the name of the route. Next, tap the icon to the right of waypoints two times. You will then be taken to the chart. If you long tap on a position, a waypoint will be created. Long tap at another location, and a second waypoint will be captured. Range and bearing information from the first waypoint to the next will be shown. You can continue this process until all desired legs of the route have been created. When complete, select Save. The route will then be displayed full screen, showing the list of points captured. You can select the plus icon sign again to return to the chart and add more waypoints. Or to store the route, select Complete Route at the bottom of the page. Once routes have been created, when you select the boat icon, the route list will be displayed. From the list, you can choose to display the route on screen by selecting the I symbol to the left of the name. From this screen, you can also download a route. When download is selected, a GPX file is created in the device download folder. This allows you to transfer a route from your device to an MFD on board the boat via standard GPX file transfer procedures. Note, after a route is complete, you cannot go back and add or delete waypoints. When deleting routes, there is a second confirmation window to help prevent a route from being accidentally deleted. Returning to the chart, next is the calendar icon. When selected, the month will be displayed on screen. The dates, highlighted in bold, are the days that fish mapping information is available for. A dot under the date indicates the data has been downloaded. To view the information for a different date, tap the day desired and select download. Or go if the data has already been loaded. Once downloaded, any day 
will remain accessible until the app is closed, even if the device no longer has access to the internet. Once selected, the app will then return to the chart and you can see the icons to display the information for the new date selected. Being able to look back six days at the historical data is key to interpreting where more productive fishing areas will be. Since ocean conditions change continuously, observing how currents, temperature contours, plankton fronts, or other data layers have moved over the past few days can assist an angler in determining productive location for the time they will be at that location on the water. As you view these layers, you can pinch to zoom in and out on the chart to view areas with more expanded detail. Returning to the chart, the last gear-shaped icon to the right brings up the settings menu. Note that once pressed, the color will change slightly to indicate the next screen is loading. In the settings menu, you will find controls to change the available data from the East Coast region to the West Coast region, should you wish to view a different region than when you originally signed up. Here you can also deselect any of the fishing recommendations species to reduce screen clutter. In addition, you can deselect any other layers of information. When a layer is deselected, the icon on the chart will be removed. For temperature features, you can select Fahrenheit or Celsius. For surface height anomaly, you can select the height to be shown in inches or centimeters and select whether convergent zones are shown. The menu also allows you to select the same position format used on your boat's GPS, as well as the preferred unit of measure for distance. Next, you have the option to select bathymetry and select whether you want the GPS internally on your device to automatically center your position on the chart when in use. Lastly, at the bottom of the menu, you will find a link to get help and a logout function. Once you have selected the desired items from the menu, close the menu window by tapping the X at the top of the page. This concludes the Fish Mapping app tutorial. If you have any questions about the use or operation of the app, please use the Get Help button in the settings or email us directly at fish.mapping at SiriusXM.com. We are always striving to improve the product and welcome your feedback. Thank you.